Are you getting streams on your original songs, but BMI still isn't sending you a royalty check? Here are three reasons why and how to fix it. Reason number three, you might not be activating what BMI calls the current activity payment. This needs to be activated in order for you to earn your BMI royalty checks. Let me explain. First of all, we gotta remember that BMI pays out royalties completely differently than what we're used to with our music distributors like DistroKid and CD Baby. When you release a song through your music distributor and it's uploaded to Spotify, when those songs are streamed, it generates a mechanical royalty. And those royalties are generated on a per stream basis. If you get streamed, you get a royalty. BMI is totally different. First of all, they pay out a completely different royalty called a performance royalty. Not mechanical, performance royalties are paid out to the songwriter of the song. So if you're not the songwriter of the song, that means you won't get a BMI check when your music is used on radio, streaming services, television, movies, and more. For example, if you recorded a cover of a popular song and that song was playing over the intercom at the mall or at a restaurant, the original songwriter would get paid by BMI, but you as the cover artist, well, you're not the songwriter, you're just the performer, so you don't get paid by BMI. But now let's say you are the songwriter and that is your song that's getting played on the radio. These companies, venues, restaurants, and radio stations, they pay what's called a blanket license and that gives them permission to use your music, which in turn creates a giant pool of cash in which BMI will use to pay your royalties out of. But if BMI doesn't care about streams and isn't even keeping track of how many streams you have, how does BMI know how to pay you? This brings us exactly around to the fact that you need to qualify for that current activity payment that I mentioned at the beginning of the video. And because BMI relies on reports from radio stations and streaming services, you actually need to make quite a big splash before you qualify for the current activity payment. BMI actually says this on their own website. All works in the BMI repertoire will be eligible for a current activity payment. BMI calculates a unique royalty rate for each work that's based on the license fees collected by the companies. Your royalties are calculated by how many times your song is reported being used and also determined by how much those companies pay in blanket licensing fees. So this means that if your song only has a couple thousand plays on Spotify, you shouldn't really be expecting any BMI checks to begin with. But there's also a chance that your music isn't being reported correctly, which brings us to number two. The second reason you might not be earning any BMI royalties is because your music is being used, but the reporting is all messed up. I just taught you that BMI relies on usage reports to know how your song was used and how much to pay. But if your song is used in, let's say, a television show, whose job is it to send these usage reports to BMI in the first place? The answer to this is just classic. It's the job of the production company to send in those cue sheets that show that your song is used, but it's ultimately your responsibility to make sure those cue sheets get sent in. BMI even says it on their own website. It is your ultimate responsibility to make sure that work registrations and cue sheets are delivered to BMI in a timely fashion. Late affiliations will cause royalties not to be paid. So as songwriters, it ultimately falls on our shoulders. For example, when I won an Emmy Award for my soundtrack on a PBS show, BMI had no clue that that even happened until the production company sent in those cue sheets indicating that my music was used. I only got paid because the production company sent cue sheets on my behalf. If they never sent them in, then I never would have gotten paid. And the funny thing is, is that it's my responsibility to make sure that happens. So. As the composer, I made sure that the production company was on top of making sure that my music usage was properly being submitted. But thankfully, because those cue sheets are now in the BMI registry, I get paid whenever those episodes are aired. If any step in the process gets missed, it doesn't matter what kind of awards you win or how many people listen, you won't get paid. This brings us to our final reason why you might not be getting paid your BMI royalties, and that's because you might be registering your music wrong. 
Throughout this video, I actually made the assumption that your music was registered correctly and we talked about the other reasons why you could possibly not get paid. But if you made a mistake during the registration process, like putting DistroKid down as your music publisher, which they're not by the way, then that could really slow down your royalty payments if not hold them up entirely. So to avoid that, watch this next video where I explain the eight most common BMI mistakes and how to fix them during your registrations.